we should start acting more. I believe that um, the generation that exists now has a lot of information and has a lot of opportunity. And there are this group of young people out here who are willing and are able and are ready to take charge, to take control and to lead the country. And these people need their help. So the older generation needs to understand that they need a safe haven for their future. They need a place where they know the people who are gonna take over from us are well equipped for the challenges that are coming. So I feel like it's not even a challenge to the older generation, but it's a really, it's, it's an expectation now I have of them to start acknowledging, to start affirming, and to start putting forward more support behind younger people. Because there's nobody who's taking this country forward or there's nobody who's taking um, our agenda forward if it's not us. And for them to have a place where they can talk about, you know, we once did this and now the people who've taken over after us are ensuring that whatever we did was not in vain, young people must be part of their conversations. They must be willing to mentor. They must be willing to step aside and say, I will throw this challenge upon you people and I will hold your hands as you learn and as you do what needs to be done for the greater good of the country. So the older generation really honestly should be not afraid of ensuring that there's a continuity in which the knowledge or information that they have is passed to younger people. They should come forth and just be able to understand that there is a shift. I mean, it's only befitting that um, we ensure that there's continuity, we ensure that there's, there's a way in which you bequeath wisdom to these people. So for their benefit and for the benefit of everybody else, because I don't think there's somebody who wants to give responsibility to someone who's not able, so they might as well help, they might as well come through, they might as well support.